Okay, welcome everyone to today's Aquarius Full Moon Alchemy Ceremony. Thank you everyone who's tuning in live stream. And okay, thank you to all. Welcome everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I'm repeating myself. So. Well, it's working. <laughs> okay. We're flowing with it. It's Aquarius. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, thank you all for being here. This is a beautiful group here in Sedona. And wow, feels like a relief to see this beautiful family and get charged up together again on the full moons. It's, it's so special to gather together on full moons. It's just always powerful times. And for me, um, we're just coming back from being in a really special place in Bora Bora. And so I'm still a little bit jet lagged half there half here which is pretty amazing actually it's kind of cool <laughs> we're working on combining the two together uh, so um yeah this is helping me ground back in to have this ceremony and to have all these powerful beings here in sedona in the circle and then also out you out there to uh where you all are so grateful to be together so uh yeah, let's start by fully arriving, right? That's what I need to do. And so we'll just kind of tune in and breathe into the space and fully arrive into the space. So everybody's come sitting up really straight and inhaling deeply, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. And inhaling your deepest breath yet today, inhaling. And releasing the day, fully arriving into the space, exhaling. And one more breath all together, inhaling. All the way down to your root. Bringing a smile to your face for this gift you've given yourself of showing up. And exhaling, feeling the freedom of being here right now all together in this powerful ceremonial circle with this beautiful watery moon of Aquarius. Okay, so before we get into the night, we're going to go over the alchemy set that some of you have out there and that we get to experience here in person. So Pasi is around, you can mm -hmm. take one. And so we'll just kind of tune into the energies of Aquarius as each month we tune into those archetypical energies and we get to work with those energies in our own inner celestial system and see how we can work with those in a beautiful way, um, how they correlate to our body and our vitality and also just the archetypical energies and elemental energies. So Aquarius, as most everyone knows, is the water bearer. The ruling planet is Uranus. Color is purple. Healing color is blue. So that purple is also for the amethyst, the healing gemstone, the birthstone for Aquarius. And the element for Aquarius is actually air, even though there's that water correlation as well. And the metal correlation is uranium and sometimes aluminum. 
And the alchemical process that correlates to Aquarius is multiplication. And so that's a really interesting one. Uh, all the other months are more of a obvious laboratory process that we can understand. And so Aquarius is somewhat more of a magical process of one thing becoming, multiplying and becoming two. So in this so-called uh, form world that may seem impossible, but it's possible. Um, one example is maybe more obvious than we realize. It's kind of like the equation uh, one plus one equals two, but when it comes to two people coming together and and bringing another life, it's one plus one equals three. So it's a person able to bring another person into this world. That's one form of multiplication that we actually see, obviously, regularly in this world. Um, multiplication in the lab is uh, definitely more difficult, and it is more of a magical process. And so in when the alchemists were searching for the Philosopher's Stone, once they got to that point of creating the stone, then one of the first tests was whether they could actually birth another stone out of that stone, and that was multiplication. And so the uh, the step after that is projection, and projection is actually taking the stone and being able to use it. And for instance, the whole the old idea of changing lead into gold or something dense into light. So this was something you could do with projection, and they both correlate to the alchemical process of coagulation. And coagulation is Taurus, so it's kind of the final stages and what can happen once we've reached the final stages of everything coalescing, everything coagulating, coming together, um, everything is, we've gone through the deep darkness, we've, we've gone through all these trials and everything has separated and you know been worked on and refined and then we bring it all to ba back together into one perfected whole, that's coagulation, and then we're able to use it in really beautiful, magical ways. And so here we are, stepping into the age of Aquarius. And so it's a, a right time for this magic and uh, this, this new birth. So in astro-medical, Aquarius correlates to circulatory system and lower legs and ankles. So this is really cool. I, I love this about doing the alchemy ceremony every month is that um, in particular, especially the spagyric, really, I design it so it really correlates to that part of the body. So once we've gone through the whole, the whole zodiac, we've specifically worked on the whole body, head to toe, all the organs, the whole system. And so that feels really quite amazing to do that along with the stars. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a lot of great circulatory medicine going on get the heart pumping. Yes. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, and real quick, I'm gonna share about what are in each of these before we get into the meditations and the music and the sound healing. So, so we have the spagyric, which I just mentioned, and that is turmeric root, patiarko, prickly ash bark, fenugreek seed, Sedona rosemary, essential oil and hydrosol that I distilled. And it's in a base of organic grape alcohol. And there's also raw local honey in there. And then a spagyric also contains not just the tinctured medicine of the plants and also the essential oil of the plants, but also the calcined salts, which help bring the medicine into the physical body. The salt correlates to body, the form, the physical. And then the tincture is like spirit. Like we talk about alcohol as spirit. And so the tincture is like the spirit of the plant. And then the essential oil is like the soul of the plant. And that's really the unique expression of the plant, the soul, just like we're all unique souls. We express in beautiful, unique ways. We all bring our own medicine. So it's like that with plants as well. They all bring their own beautiful medicine. And so the, that's why essential oils are so powerful. It's the soul essence of the plant. 
So spagyric is those three aspects, the three principles, and then they're brought back together. They're separated, refined, perfected, and then brought back into uh, a more powerful bioavailable medicine. So then the ormus is a pretty wild one this time. I got kind of um, crazy with it, and but I'm excited about it. <laughs> this is a, normally it's white, and it's actually this kind of green color um, that just magically occurred. And so that um, is the ormus base, which is derived from uh, ancient uh, sea salts, so mostly dead sea salts. And so I do an extraction of letting go most of the sodium and chloride and then condensing all of the rare minerals so you actually get a supplement of these really special transitional metals like gold, silver, platinum, the platinum group. Um, so those are all really crucial for just the conductive nature of the body and holding your light and being in your light, expressing your light, shining your light. And so along with that, there's more. Wait, there's more. There's elderberry, which is which is kind of the iconic tree of of uh, of Aquarius. Really beautiful tree, and it shares a really beautiful fruit as well, and beautiful flower. So the flower and the fruit are infused into the ormus, along with a couple medicinal mushrooms, chaga and reishi. And there's also amethyst essence in there. There's a touch of maple syrup. It's not a lot, and there's also birch bark. And so I use birch bark in all the ormuses because it's a zero glycemic sweetener. And the birch tree just has beautiful healing properties on its own. So just to bring in the, the energy, the birch um, works really well with the ormus. So then for the aromatherapy, the, the smells we're gonna get into, the aromatherapy spray is neroli blossom, hyssop flower, yarrow flower, carrot seed, juniper hydrosol, that's distilled from here in Sedona, I distilled. And, oh, a mysterious flower essence that doesn't say what kind. That's exciting. <laughs> you, you'll find out about that one. <laughs> your your, your uh, subconscious will know what that is. Let's see what... <laughs> I'm sure it's a local flower. Um, yeah. If that comes to me, I'll let you know what that is. That's fun. <laughs> Surprise. Then the essential oil blend is sandalwood, basil, lemon, geranium, black pepper, and some jojoba oil as the base. So that's a really awesome blend for just healthy circulation, getting the blood running up and down, all the way to the toes. So really um, sweet formula. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like we're going to start with everyone at home. You can get the spagyric ready and we'll start with that. And here we're actually taking the spagyric in a ferment. So if you have ferments at home, you can take it, take the spagyric in kombucha if you want, or a jun or a mead or I don't know what ferment you like. <laughs> you can also take it straight up. It's not too high of an alcohol, so it's it's not too fiery. So it's nice just to have um, on the go. You can take it in your bag and take a little bit and perk you up throughout the day. So just good Aquarius medicine on the go. So we're taking it today here in a kombisha, which is a honey kombucha that I make that has 55 herbs, tonic herbs. So it's a very special base. And then we're getting the Aquarius herbs on top of that. So I'm gonna start it right. Yes. <laughs> Could you count how many people we have? That's how many I poured. Thank you. <laughs> you can start passing these two to that. Thank you so much.
So when we take this spagyric, it's nice to, just like any tincture, we have this tap-in spot in the front of our mouth, under our tongue. It's, um, it's called taking things sublingually. And so this spot just receives medicine really quickly and it goes into our bloodstream. So it's a beautiful way to uh, take something and really receive it and not have it wasted. So even if you're taking in a beverage, you can drink a little bit and hold it in your mouth and really enjoy it. And so, yeah, we can wait till everybody gets one. And, and so just hold your, your glass right in front of your heart and close your eyes and tuning into these energies of the Aquarius archetype of the water bear, that nourishing dynamic trailblazing, wonderful feminine energy, that wateriness that holds us, that we are. Mm. And with these energies, it's an opportunity to set something new into being. What are we bringing forth into our life right now? What are we choosing to create? So bringing that picture of that to your mind, to your mind's eye, holding that, instilling that into this spagyric. Feeling what it would feel like when that vision is so. Feeling the power of this circle assisting you in your vision. Witnessing it is already true, as already so. And then when you're ready, taking your spagyric, drinking your drink. When you've finished putting your glass out in front of you, Keeping your eyes closed, feeling the shift that's happening. And as you stay here in this space, you can <clears throat> also take out the aromatherapy, the essential oil blend, and you can dab a little bit on your wrists, rub your wrists together, smelling, staying in the space, seeing what you're creating. I'm going to come around the room and put a little on your wrists, and you can rub your wrists together and so.
in any time throughout the ceremony that you want to kind of re-presence, you can come back to this smell, this aroma, kind of reset and just really feel your body, feel yourself in the space, in your peace. We can kind of open up and stretch our spines, open our hearts, stretch our shoulders. <laughs> and reach your arms up, stretching out. Mm. Feeling the celestial waters rain down. So you become the bridge, heaven and earth. Mm. Relaxing your hands down, palms up, receiving all the gifts. Mm. So we're gonna go into a little musical sharing from Vega Star Song. Let the sun shine. Let the sun shine. Let 
to play that song tonight and <clears throat> I think it was I think it's from 1969 actually <laughs> <laughs> no <it's... laughs> we were like let's make this more modern yeah <laughs> <laughs> so wow that was um, I mean that's a classic song by the fifth dimension the group's called the fifth dimension <laughs> I think <laughs> I think that you just took that to like the 11th dimension, actually. Um, that was really beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I think people will tune into that version now instead of uh, the old one. You gotta get that out there. <laughs> so, wow. Ah. <sighs> So it's fun to see how, you know, this whole understanding of moving into the age of Aquarius. You know, it's been going on for many years, obviously. They were quite on it in 1969, talking about <laughs> us entering into the age of Aquarius. It's definitely, we're just at the brink of it, um, just beginning the age of Aquarius. And, um, you know, it's another sign of, of um, changing times of ripe opportunity for evolution and expansion and raising the bar um, as a whole humanity and also within ourselves and how we show up. And so it goes back to that alchemical process, you know, how are we uh, creating ourselves and then multiplying that into the world and I guess kids is one way, but, but we do that in May. We birth things every day. We birth things. They birth this song in a new way. And um, all that we create, there's so much talent in this circle and, and out there. We all have our beautiful gifts, so we can kind of tune in. How are we rebirthing ourselves? How are we rebirthing our gifts that we share with our family and our friends and our community and our loved ones and our town and the world and all of creation. So let's kind of do one more little mind meditation and then we'll go into uh, a sound healing set. So we're gonna kind of keep it short and sweet, this ceremony. Um, Actually, we're going to do a little water ceremony, too, for Aquarius. So mm -hmm. I've got a couple things before the, the sound healing. So if everybody could sit in easy pose and just come sitting up, 
straighten your spine, come back into your awareness of your breath, letting your mind flow, witnessing your mind as the clear blue sky and the thoughts, the clouds that form, not judging them, just allowing them to form and then disperse, but always remembering that you are the clear sky. Feeling that crystal clarity in your mind, in your being. Bringing awareness to our breath. And we're going to, with our eyes closed, we kind of keep our attention, even though our eyes are closed, we keep our eyes towards our mind's eye, toward the third eye. And we're going to scan our body with our awareness. So we're going to start from our root, <clears throat> or as we're sitting here, you can think of it as from your toes up to your head. And so we're gonna just do a scan all the way up, starting from our toes, just witnessing what's going on in our body, all our sensations to our feet, to our ankles, scanning further up to our lower legs as we're working on circulation today. Having that pumping blood go all the way, bring our attention, scanning up to our knees, witnessing all the sensations, feeling the momentariness of them, the impermanence as they rise and pass, all the sensations, whether it's pain or pleasure, continue to scan upward, your upper legs, feeling they're all, all there is to feel, witnessing, bringing your attention to your hips, to your sexual organs, Continuing to rise this awareness upward toward your core, your abdomen, your spine, your lower back, continuing to rise. So we reach the heart, tuning in with our heart, feeling, sensing, witnessing, continuing to rise our upper chest, feeling our arms, Witnessing all the sensations rising and falling, breathing steadily, bringing our awareness to our throat. So we just sang a beautiful song, feeling the sensations in our neck, in our chin, feeling our faces our ears, our forehead, up to our crown. And now as we scan back down, seeing a white light fill all the spaces, slowly scanning down head, face, chin, neck, heart, bringing light to it all, universal mind over matter, creating our bodies, abdomen, stomach, hips, spine, back, sexual organs, upper legs, knees, lower legs, ankles, feet, 
toes. Mm. And now this time, all in one inhale, we're gonna scan all the way up the body, bringing that white light to the to each part that we bring our awareness as we move up. So inhaling this light all the way up, starting toes all the way to the head, inhale. Suspending the breath, feeling that light at our crown and exhaling slowly, bringing that light, scanning all the way back down. And starting back from the base, inhaling the light up. Holding it at the top, at the crown, feeling all those parts of our being that needs this light. This light is totally unconditional, like the sun penetrates all shadows, touches all corners. Exhaling, scanning back down. And one more time, inhaling it up. Bringing a smile to your face. And exhaling it down. Breathing naturally, feeling your whole body filled with this light. said that the time of Aquarius is a time that's ripe for each alchemist, that's all of you, a ripe time to integrate the mind and the body. And so this means that the mind, the universal mind is creating the physical form. And so this is a time that is really easy and graceful and ripe to understand this power of your mind, the universal mind, and how you're creating your reality, how you're creating your body. And so we can take this empowered understanding and bring it to our everyday reality. How are we creating our lives? How are we creating our reality? How are we creating how we feel? And we can do a reprogramming, letting go of all of those things, all those voices that uh, keep us from living our true joy. And we can see how those repeated mind tricks can really hinder us and how we can let them go and how we can reprogram and instill programs that help uplift us help bring us longevity and vitality, feeling amazing in our bodies, feeling so happy to be alive, so happy to be able to be here and share in this beautiful existence. Our mind creates all the beautiful talents that rest in our hands, And we choose our mind to empower us to share these gifts in a beautiful way that support us and support others. We use this power of mind to create perfect health 
We create this power of mind to create joy in our lives, to be a beacon for joy. So the alchemists call this the secret fire. And this is the power of the mind, how we're creating our realities. And so it was one of the things that was lost in chemistry. And so with alchemy, we have, we can do all these works in the physical, but we have the secret fire as a tool as well. We have the power of our mind, but we realize that we're creating all of this at the same time and that we're part of this experiment, that we are this experiment, we're part of this play. So as we have instilled this new program, we can remind ourselves as we awaken tomorrow, a new day, that we're creating our reality, we're creating our day, we're choosing how we're going to feel, how our life is going to play out in a beautiful way, sharing in the magic of this creation that we are. So we're going to go into a little bit of sound healing and we're going to experience the Ormus. So at home you can get your Ormus bottle ready and <clears throat> you want to take, um, take about a tablespoon um, or for the ceremony you can do a little bit more than that to really experience it fully, deeply and all the beautiful effects. So we're going to take the Ormus, and then can people lay down, or should they stay seated? They can lay down. I was also going to say if they feel they'd like to move. I know we have mm -hmm. some beautiful movers in this room. Mm -hmm. So I'd say whatever, honestly, whatever moves you, if you'd like to lay down or sit, or if you feel like you need to physically express, going with the fluidity of the Aquarian energy, just mm -hmm. follow your heart. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah, so perhaps um, keep all your glasses in front of you and I'll come around with the Ormus. And then after you take it, um, still keep it out in front of you because we have one more thing that we need the glasses for. If you want to move your body and dance, perhaps go onto the tile and you've got a nice slick tile dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> So just, yeah, be careful of the little white little glasses as you go around. So everybody can prepare your armis. Can I help you? Hmm? Can I help you? Oh, um, I like this part. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So we'll take this before you start. Yeah. 
Okay, so holding your armrests up in front of your in front of your face, in front of your third eye. Mm. I'm just feeling, experiencing. power of your creating. Mm, you can take the ormus and hold it under your tongue for a moment and swallow when you're ready. Staying within as we move into the sound. And you can either stretch out with your head toward the center of the circle, or you can sit up, or whatever feels best for this part. So before we begin the sound healing, I would like to offer a theta download because that's what I'm being guided to do in this moment. And as we're coming into this new time, this Aquarius time, we're talking about stepping into being the alchemist of our own lives, remembering why we came here, our purpose, our passion, and being able to manifest that in this reality. 
I would like to offer a Theta download to all those here and all those that are, are tuning in now. So creator of all that is, it is commanded that everyone in this room and everyone tuning in, it is commanded that everyone here be downloaded with the creator's perspective, understanding, and remembrance of who they said they would be during this Aquarian age. They'd be downloaded with the perspective and understanding, the creator's know-how of how to bring forth their purpose and their passion into this world, into this reality, that they feel confident, courageous, and that they know they have all that they need to succeed within this now creator, as well as anything else that would assist them during this time. It's commanded that everyone be downloaded with the creator's perspective and understanding of unconditional love, of forgiveness, of compassion, If everyone in this room and those who are listening, if you would like to receive this download, just say yes. Yes. yes.
As you come back into your body, feeling yourself this new space, feeling all the love, your cells rejuvenated and regenerated, your rebirth into who you will be during this time of Aquarius. Continuing to breathe into this space, breathing in the aromatherapy as it comes around. Breathing in deeply through your mouth. 
exhaling through your mouth, creating a circle with your lips, inhaling through your mouth, exhaling through your lips, inhaling, and exhaling. So we're going to slowly rise back up, be gentle with yourself, coming back to seated. glass in front of you. And everyone at home, you can gather a little <coughs> pot of water, a little bowl of water for this little water ceremony. I'm just going to come around and ladle some of this water into all of your glasses. And we're going to do this little water blessing, this little water ritual.
So we finish with this blessing, giving thanks for water, for having such availability for life giving, clean waters. Here in Sedona, we're very blessed with springs and artesian wells of the place. Wonderful crystalline healing waters. So much gratitude for all the waters we get to drink around the world. All the healing waters that we imbibe and that we are. Just closing our eyes and tuning into all these beautiful bodies of water, all these beautiful sources of water. Feeling how water is a teacher. How water is a guide. And how you are also water yourself. Feeling this wateriness within your being. Mm, feel this. I am water, the mirror for a myriad of miracles, the elusive all-pervader, ever-changing phases, the courier that carries earthly wishes to heavenly heights. You set sail your dreams on my ship to new worlds of ascended perspectives and possibilities, but today I say I have been sent to discover you. Avoid me and I still I will instill thirsty longing, label me and put me in a box, and my nature will shapeshift to fit, for it is never the cup we want, but what is inside. I am water. When you feel without any filters or facades, I spring from your navel, turning barren numbness into an ecstatic rush of new reality. I am the pen in the poet's hand, the emotive locomotion of a heart passionate in love, the liquid elemental revolutionary stronger than steel. I flow my being beyond boundaries unconditionally for all that come in contact enacting change, the only constant, ever instantaneous ability to clearly inspire. Speak this out loud right now. I am water. I am water. I am water. And so this is a ritual holy water blessing and cleansing. It's really beautiful and you can kind of just repeat after me and we'll just, as we do with wash, washing of each um, part of our being, you actually can just dip your finger in the water. And as I say that part, for instance, I wash my lip, you can take a little bit of the water and wash your lip. Mm -hmm. So stay really inside, internal, deep in this and just repeat after me and feel this beautiful ritual within your being. So holding your cup close in front of you, you can actually set it on the ground in front of you if that's more comfortable. So coming into this reverent space, Now each part of this that I say, you can just repeat after me. I wash my hands. I wash my hands. That my works may be pure. That my works may be pure. I wash my palms. 
I wash my hands. That I may illuminate good energy. That I may illuminate good energy. I wash my fingers. I wash my fingers. That the law of love may be revered. That the law of love may be revered. I wash my wrists. I wash my wrists. That my pulse may be in accordance. That my pulse may be in accordance with the pulse of the universal power. With the pulse of the universal power. I wash my eyes. I wash my eyes. That I may see only good. That I may see only good. I wash my ears. I wash my ears. That I may hear only good. That I may hear only good. I wash my nose. I wash my nose. That I may enjoy the fragrance of life. I wash my upper lip. I wash my upper lip. That I may be truthful in all things. That I may be truthful in all things. I wash my lower lip. I wash my lower lip. That I may be honest in my dealings with other humans. That I may be honest in my dealings with other humans. I wash my throat. I wash my throat. That I may only consume the best of food. That I may only consume the best of food. I wash my neck. I wash my neck. That I may be creative. That I may be creative. I wash my heart. I wash my heart. That I may love all. That I may love all. Bringing your hands over your heart, breathing. Assimilating, bringing in all of the gifts of this evening, all the grace, all the sweetness, all the smiles, all the empowerment, all the soul nourishment for all the beauty that you feel this moment. Thank you all for being here. So much gratitude for you all. So much love. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ella. So mm -hmm. much gratitude and love for you for creating this for all of us. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So we're going to say farewell to our live stream friends for now. We shall see you next month. All the blessings.